Macintosh applications. There are many of them. And if you haven't seen the previous video, here's the starter pack, the very top of the iceberg. Install all of these and you'll be brought closer to your previous experience with Windows. Or in other words, the dark side. <laughs> This one will snap Windows. This is a cool media player. This will keep your copy history, just like when you press Windows V on Windows. If you didn't know, now you know. This adds triple click to your trackpad that lets you open links in a new tab like this. If you didn't know, now you know. This hides menu bar icons. Bloop. This replaces spotlight search and this lets you disable mouse acceleration and fixes scroll direction on your mouse. But you know what? We're not even touching the tip of the iceberg. The way this works is I have a list that I've been assembling over the last few months and its contents include apps most of human species have never heard of, unless you browse Reddit regularly. I'll go through it top to bottom, revealing each app one by one. By the end, you should have not just a simple machine, but a power station, a tank that can devour any task thrown its way. Let us begin. Starting things off is keyboard cleaner tool. Fire it up and it disables your keyboard so you can clean it for the first time in years. What are you waiting for? Next is screen brush. You hit option tab and it turns your cursor into Bob lets you paint things on your screen while doing screen recordings. Screen Studio lets you do screen recordings. I just recently discovered this one and it automatically zooms into your mouse cursor as well as has these smooth mouse animations. Beautiful. OBS lets you do screen recordings, pretty advanced, but free. Sorry, but free. What's also free is Command Shift 5, which lets you do screen recordings with QuickTime built into macOS. TextPal. You know how you can pick emojis with control command space? Well, with this app, you can do it with the backslash. Pretty cool. Pure Paste. If this annoys you, installing Pure Paste will always paste in plain text by default. You can also do this by copying something and pressing Command Option Shift V. Easy to remember, but wait. These are all cool and all, but you're probably thinking, let's dive a little deeper. GIMP. It's basically discount Photoshop. 100% discount. So you don't have to get Adobe Creative Cloud. Adobe Creative Cloud houses two of my favorite apps that I have a love-hate relationship with. Photoshop and Pre Premiere Pro. Creative Cloud is best for those who don't dare to venture out into the deep seas. Chai. It prevents your Mac from falling asleep, so you can do things like export videos while you're asleep. Key Clue. Same as Cheat Sheet, but free. What's Cheat Sheet? It shows all available keyboard shortcuts for a specific application. But here's the ultimate Cheat Sheet. Go into the Help menu, type in an action, and it'll show you the keyboard shortcut. It's right there. Hand Mirror. You can check out how you look like before hopping on a Zoom call from your menu bar. Handsome. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think we're deep enough yet. Let's get down a little more. Google Trans... Are you kidding me? It's down here? Oh, it's because this one is inside of your menu bar for those quick translations. App Cleaner. When you uninstall apps, they leave a bunch of junk behind. So this app gets rid of that junk. BatFi. It's basically all dente. It lets you turn off battery charging once it reaches a certain level to keep your battery healthy. Once the charge goes up to that level, your Mac will start drawing power from the cable, bypassing the battery. Also shows some useful stats. VS Code. It's a code editor from Microsoft. It's mainly here on this list to help me promote my course about creating animations using code. Animations like these. So, you know, it's in the description. Yep. Folder Peek. With this app, you can quickly access folders from the menu bar. It's the same as putting a folder in the dock, but you can also take a peek at it and open some apps. You think that was deep? No, 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 no. Let's go down. Homebrew. It's a package manager. Works from the terminal. Pretty scary. It's essentially like a big installer that has many more installers inside of it. So you can install and uninstall a bunch of apps with it. And even App Store apps, like this. Brew, install, dash, dash, cask, raycast. By a strange coincidence, the next app is raycast. It essentially replaces your spotlight search, just like Alfred from the starter pack, but with more cool shenanigans, like snapping windows, clipboard history, calculating stuff. Even has a store with a bunch of community add-ons for it. Audacity, it's a free app that lets you record and edit audio. Here are some quick tips to make you sound good. One, 
speak close to your microphone. Oh. Two, noise reduction. Three, compressor. Four, normalization. And you're done. Handbrake. This one lets you crush down video files so that they take up less space. There's some presets you can use or customize it and crush it. Wait, it goes from fast, medium, slow, slower, very slow, and then it's placebo. <laughs> Parallels. This one will let you run Windows or Linux on your Mac. If you want to do gaming, I think Crossover is a similar app better suited for it. I'm not sure though. Wasn't that deep, was it? Let's dive in a little deeper. Focus Rider. Well, it's in the name. It lets you focus on writing by hiding things. Focus Rider. See? Oh my god, I hate this. Carabiner Elements. This app lets you customize your keyboard. I use it for two things. One, to replace my caps lock key with anything else. No one uses the caps lock key, right? Right? And then to replace this sleep thing icon with the command H keyboard shortcut, which hides apps basically, because I don't even know what this moon does. Probably something to do with do not disturb. Mic muter lets you globally mute your microphone from the menu bar or with a keyboard shortcut. There's an alternative for this called mute key and it's on the app store. Cool down. If you go to settings, battery, low power mode and on, it will turn on low power mode for your Mac, just like the iPhone. But this is quite the journey to take. So cool down lets you do that from the menu bar. Velia. This app lets you switch browsers and open links in different apps from your menu bar. It could be quite handy for someone who uses multiple browsers for specific stuff. We're just more than halfway down. It's just starting to get deep. Let's move on. MediaMate replaces volume and brightness controls to match your iPhone and shows what's now playing in the notch. <clears throat> The Notch. There's an alternative for this app called Music Bar, but puts what's now playing in the menu bar. If there's even space left there after all these apps. Command X. If you're coming from the dark side, you can easily cut and paste files with Control X and Control V. But on Mac? No. You have to first copy, then go somewhere and press Option Command V to move it there, which is weird. So this app replaces that with Command X and Command V. Contexts. You know the Alt Tab keyboard shortcut or Command Tab on Mac? It's a great one to learn for productivity, by the way. And this app tries to improve it. First, it replaces Command Tab with this, which is nice, but I prefer the normal Command Tab. But wait, there's more. You can hold Function and quickly type out the first few letters of an app you want to switch to and it will switch to it. You can also scroll between them with your mouse and release command to switch to that app. That's kind of cool. Look away. This app blurs your screen so you look away to reduce eye strain. Same effect as taking off your glasses. But this one costs money. There's a free one out there with a space but it's not that aesthetically pleasing. Still gets the job done though. You can also tell it to skip the blurring for some time instead of rage quitting. Paletro. It's like the help menu I showed you before but better. You hit command shift Shift P and you can search for any kind of thing that you can do in that application. You can then click on it to do that thing or learn the shortcut to do it faster the next time. This app is also a part of the setup subscription. Setup. I mentioned this one in the previous video, but if you're planning to buy a bunch of apps, then this app offers a subscription for 10 bucks a month and it has like 250 Mac apps inside of it. For example, CleanShot X for screen recordings. It alone costs this much. I'm also mentioning Setup here because they have an affiliate program, so if someone signs up through my link, I get like 10 bucks, baby, at no extra cost to you. Cha-ching! We're almost at the bottom. Let's go down even more. Exporter. This will export your Apple Notes in Markdown format. It's useful if you want to transfer your notes to something like Obsidian, for example. X Menu. This one gives you access to your preferred applications, folders, or files from your menu bar. Quick access. Krita. If you want to start painting with a tablet or your mouse, then this app will turn you into Bob. It's made just for that. It's also free if you're downloading it from their website. <laughs> reminders menu bar lets you manage reminders from your menu bar instead of the reminders app. GarageBand. Come on, it's from Apple and we never use it. But you can make music with it. Pair it up with Audacity and you're selling out stadiums. Not really, but you can make a ringtone. 
S Panso. It's a text expander, also available on Windows. Should I make a video about Windows apps? This one will expand your text. For example, colon date will type out the date. To customize it, you go into Go, hold Option, Library, Application Support, S Panso, Match, and then customize the base file. But to do that easier, let's first cover the next app, Cot Editor. It essentially replaces Text Edit or Notepad on Mac. If I open that base file with it, it nicely highlights all the important stuff and it preserves the indentation. So I'll add a new line, make sure that it's aligned with the previous text, set my trigger to yoink and say that it should output this text. Save and yoink. I think we sunk down to the deepest point. Let's explore what's down here. Onyx. This app immediately asks you for full disk access so you know it's either just kidding. You can use it to verify the structure of system files, run miscellaneous maintenance and cleaning tasks, configure different parameters in the Finder, Doc, Safari, and some other Apple applications. Just a cool utility. Gifsky lets you convert videos to GIFs. Clop. This app optimizes images or videos, like screen recordings, as soon as you copy them, helping you save space or make media load faster if it's on a website. You can also disable the copy feature and just optimize with Control O. Look how much it saved. You can also restore or do aggressive mode. Toggle lets you track how much time you spent for specific things and then shows you a summary. It's interesting to track your day and see how much time actually goes where. Spaced. If your menu bar isn't already full, this app will let you add spacers to it to separate those apps, making it even more full. By the way, you can also add spacers to your dock with this command in the terminal. And that's it. That's the iceberg. All the links will be in the description. But wait, you missed out on the first one. So here you go. Indulge. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to say. Sight.